good morning all i am kripa suyar from the first group to present the topic methods of floating new issues pure prospectus method a company can meet its long term requirements by way of issuing securities like shares and debentures the important methods adopted to issue securities to raise long term capital requirements consist of public issues placement and bought out deals securities like shares and debentures can be uh, issued to raise the long term funds of a company that is uh, the shares and debentures are the main instrument of raising long term funds and this can be done by using the method of issuing the public issues placement and bought out deals among these methods public issue method is the most important and what is public issue method and as we go to this method this is the most popular method of raising long term capital it means raising funds directly from the public under this method the company invites subscriptions from the public through the issue of prospectus public issue method the public issue as the name says it is raising funds directly from the public or we are inviting uh, or we are offering the public a share of a com- uh, of our company so uh, the company is raising capital funds directly from the public so is called a public issue and under this method the company invites subscription from the public through the issue of a document named prospectus public issue method by the way of issuing of prospectus can be called as pure prospectus method and as we go to the pure prospectus method it is a most common form of raising capital and under this method a fixed number of shares at a stated prices are offered to the public by issuing company through a document named prospectus it may take in the form of notice circular or advertisement inviting of shares or debentures at specified price which may be subsequently allotted to them the pure prospectus method as we said earlier is the method that is uh, raising funds by the way of issuing prospectus the document named prospectus and under this method a fixed number of shares at a stated price that is the price is stated in that document itself are offered to the public by the issuing company and the document which uh, which is engaged in this method is prospectus it is a document and this prospectus may take the form of notice circular or advertisement which invites shares or debentures at a specified price so what is the reason behind to issuing such a document so uh, the main reason behind uh, issuing the public issuing prospectus that is issuing a prospectus is that the first one to inform about the formation of new company and the second one to induce investors to invest their securities simply we can say uh, the reason of issuing such a prospectus is that it is to to give or to provide a better information about the company where they are issuing or uh, to provide a better knowledge to the issuer uh, uh, i mean to the uh, public about the issuing company thus the prospectors make a direct appeal to the investors to raise capital funds it consists of following details that is the prospectors has following parts first one the name of the company and then address of the registered office of the company 
existing and purpose activities then location of the company here we can see the prospectus contains the main details or the major details of the company itself or the company's uh, biodata itself that is uh, uh, the name of the company then address of the company existing and purpose activities and location of the company that is uh, it is the main details the public needs to uh, needs to have uh, or uh, the major details they are provided so uh, we can say Uh, the public gets a better knowledge about the company where they make a share next we will discuss about the controlling body or the apex body which are controlling the uh, the public issues and the prospectus so uh, the consist of prospectors have to be in accordance with the provisions of companies act and sebi disclosure and investors protection guidelines or we can say that the companies act or uh, the sebi disclosure that is sebi is controlling this uh, prospectus or uh, it is sebi who decides what should be in a prospectus or the other matters so we can say it is uh, fully controlled by sebi or the security exchange board of india and uh, our securities are being saved and secured features of the pure prospectus method exclusive subscription under this method the new issues of a company are offered for exclusive subscription of the general public issue price direct officer is made by the issuing company to the general public to subscribe to the securities as a stated price underwriting public issue through the pure prospectus method is usually underwritten thus is to safeguard the interest of the issuer in the event of unsatisfactory response from the public advantages of the pure prospectus method the pure prospectus method offer the following advantages to the issuer and the investors alike are benefit to investors and benefit to issuers the benefit to investors means the pure prospectus method of marketing the securities serves as an excellent mode of disclosure of all the information pertaining to the issue besides it also facilitates satisfactory compliance with the legal requirements of transparency etc benefits to issuers the pure prospectus method among the larger issuers in addition it provides for wide diffusion of ownership of securities contributing to reduction in the con- concentration of economic and social power the drawbacks the rising of capital through the pure prospectus method is fought with a number of drawbacks as specified below are the high issue costs time consuming high issue costs means a major drawback of this method is that is an expensive method of raising funds from the capital market costs of various huge are incurred in mobilizing capital time consuming the issue of securities through prospectus takes more time as it requires the due compliance with various formalities before an issue would take place thank you